Let's talk about wiring a switch. Uh, to start any program, we'll need a program loop. Um, and we're going to need some digital pins. Now, we're familiar so far with a set digital pin. The set digital pin uh, assumes that the digital pin is an output. So if we're setting digital pin 1 high, it's an output. That means that we're turning the, the LED on. Um, we're going to be using uh, some control loops here. We're going to use some if-then statements. So I'm going to put an if-then statement in here. Um, and I'm going to bring in one more if-then here as well. So now, inside of an if-then statement, when a digital pin goes into the test uh, spot here, that means that the computer is assuming the digital pin is an input. So information going in rather than an output information going out. So now we can bring in this digital pin here. Notice how it's the same shape. It fits together like a puzzle. Um, and I'm going to place that there. So the next thing I'm going to do is just add some notes in here so I remember the way that I uh, wired this. Now yours may be different but you can kind of get the gist of it. So I'm going to add a comment by right clicking. Uh, and I'll just place it over here. I'm going to label my pins. So I'm going to call it digital pin one. That one is my LED and digital pin two. That one is my switch. So uh, the way I have it wired then, I have the LED plugged into digital one and the switch plugged into digital two. So now when I uh, set up my digital pins here, if test, the test is the switch being pressed. So I'm gonna switch this to digital two and switch this to digital two. So if digital pin two is on, meaning switch being pressed, then I'm gonna set digital one to high. So if switch is pressed, turn light on. Now I want to be able to shut that light off. And that's where I'm going to pull something out of the tests here. I'm going to pull a not block out. So now if not digital pin two, that means if the button is not being pressed, then I'm going to set my digital pin one, the LED, I'm going to set that to low. So now if digital pin two is on. So if switch is pressed, turn light on. If switch is not pressed, turn light off. Okay. Um, a couple other things you can use under tests would be the and and or command. So if you wanted to press two buttons to make the switch work, now you'd press if uh, digital pin two and say digital pin three, then you'd set it high or low. 